Geek Citadel. Welcome to the overview. This time we'll be talking about Virginia, created by Variable State. Virginia isn't the name of the main character, if that's what you were guessing. Instead, it takes place in a fictional town named Kingdom somewhere in Virginia. You play FBI investigator Ann Tarver, who's paired up with Maria Halperin to investigate a missing persons case. Ann is secretly given another task, and that's to do an internal investigation on her own partner. Virginia is a short game, so I'll spare you a heavy description of the storyline. The world is inspired by shows like Twin Peaks. Anyone familiar with anything that David Lynch has made should understand what they're about to see. For the rest of you, prepare for some unbelievably mind-bending sights. This title was a total feast for the eyes and carries itself with beauty and loving care. Unlike other games that require walking and interacting with things, this title gives you moments of interaction before cutting or fading to different scenes at will. It's more like an interactive film than an actual game. There are only two options, and that's the ability to move around and click things. You can't truly investigate as an FBI agent or search through any random drawer or pick up every item available. Instead, there are a few feathers, flowers, and items you can pick up that only appear back at Anne's apartment. The game is very linear and places items around the scene and highlights them with a diamond, making it easy to keep the story moving and the player engaged. Don't think for a second you won't be interested in the strange story unfolding before your eyes either. This game is vivid and expresses itself like a fantastic work of art. The sound design stays on point with some fantastic music from the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra and heightens the tension of the game at key moments. The music becomes as inseparable as the visuals themselves with good reason. There isn't a single hint of dialogue spoken throughout the title. You'll observe Anne struggling with the pressures of balancing a friendship with her job. Her need to be friends with Maria to maintain a proper relationship all while stabbing her in the back. This tension is created on the screen with great animations and well-designed set pieces. We'll never hear a word, but we understand exactly how the characters feel. I enjoyed my time with Virginia. It felt like I just finished watching an indie film with a great animation budget. That being said, the game is only two hours long and presents absolutely no replay value. Nevertheless, it's worth it to experience this strange world with relatable human beings. The ending comes along too quickly trying to resolve too much, but it remains enjoyable despite all of the spectacle. That's it for the overview. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.